Okay, so I managed to get the processor console here unbuttoned. Uh, probably took more thinking than actually doing. <laughs> it wasn't even really a lock. It's just a very weird sort of latch arrangement. So I get to take a look inside, and it is pretty much a interesting PC. Um, yeah, not not too not too exciting otherwise, but. Inside were interesting cards. There is, of course, a uh, pretty standard networking card here. Uh, I don't know who made it, but clearly has an I, uh, IBM part number. That's not that big of an issue. But this is the weird card that I was talking about. Let me move that out of the way for now. This is the weird card that I was talking about. You can see it's got a couple of small D shells. Uh, D-shell connectors, and they are 15-pin, kind of like VGA, but obviously, well, there are two of them, and if you look, it says RS-232 there, I don't know if, if it's going to want to focus on that, who knows, uh, but yes, this appears to be some sort of fancy communication card, and I looked up the number, and uh, I can't quite get it, on, there we go, I uh, can't quite get a whole lot of information on it. Uh, it appears it can do a whole bunch of different um, protocols and such like that, including V.35. However, this guy here, little daughter board, and there was only one installed, it's apparently the RS-232 uh, daughter board, uh, judging from that number there, that sticker there. And also, when I looked at the chips, they were indeed... 1488s and 1489s. Actually, they were CMOS versions. But, yeah, pretty standard RS-232. Question is, what is this used for? Is this the uh, actual card that communicates with the processor? Why such a fancy card? Um, I did not get the cable. Um, of course, you know, when, when I got this thing, and you can see in the, that old video about the rescue... I did not get all the system, so I was missing like a bunch of cables and things like that. So I don't know what the cable is actually supposed to be. You know, if I found a cable there that, you know, says <laughs> processor complex and, uh, or uh, console and has a, uh, a, uh, you know, a, a, a small D, a 15 pin D, uh, DA15, I guess that is, um, then I'd know. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'm asking you, uh, you ES9000 guys, uh, what's the console cable look like? Online, I do see people selling these things with a cable, so the cables are available. They're not entirely cheap, because generally you have to buy this card as well. Um, you know, I don't particularly want to go that route, but, you know, I may have to, who knows. So yeah, question is, is this the serial port? To uh, talk to the processor. Uh, I did not get... I, I got some documentation with the system, but not the installation guide. <laughs> where to stick where. <laughs> what to stick where, rather. So, yeah. Interesting card. Uh, also, took a look at the tape drive. And a little bit of an oddball. It's a uh, uh, IBM Dual Store 800. Um, which appears to be just kind of a mini disc or mini cart, you know, a kind of derivative from the quick cart. And uh, sure enough, this is this is the sacred <laughs> microcode tape. And uh, to me, here, focus on that, you. There we go. To me, that certainly kind of looks like one of those uh, quick 80s or whatever. Uh, I did notice that, like a lot of them, the, I don't know if you can see that there, the uh, belt is in need of help. So we are not going to play with this, this tape here um, until we make sure we have multiple copies of the microcode. Okay, well, a uh, quick update. Got the thing managed, uh, managed to get the thing open. I am, uh, next week, we'll go up to a friend's house and we're going to, we're going to um, image the drive, uh, mostly because uh, Linux and I do not get along. There's, things get thrown and temper tantrums and stuff like that. So uh, we're going to do that. We're going to get that disk there completely uh, imaged 
and I'll probably do it a couple times just to be safe because I'm not screwing around with this. Um, um, you know, if that microcode disappears, then I have a big white brick. All right, just a little update. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.